Roma Line Elementary is located in a very dangerous area. So because of this, we have created some systems to help um, keep our kids safe. Some of those systems are going to use the restroom together. Um, another one that we do is we have walkie-talkies to communicate better. And we also do phone calls home for any absent students. Um, so because it is dangerous outside of those gates, our number one priority is to keep our students safe at our school. So at May Ranch Elementary, we believe that um, having a youth voice and leadership opportunity with them helps kids grow um, as a person. And what we do, or yeah, what we do is we um, allow them to have opportunities to voice out their opinions and ideas um, by questioning them or asking about their day, having conversations day to day. Um, and by doing that, students are assured that um, we listen by reassuring, like reassuring them about like updating them and things like that during our opening time, enrichment time, just throughout the day we allow that. And um, by questioning them, it helps them to realize their potential and who they are and with their role in the program. And by them realizing that, they find their voice and their opportunities to grow as leaders and students in the program. I believe in order to have a well round, uh, well ran inviting program, you need to have a safe, supportive um, environment. Um, I feel uh, you need a place where parents feel safe to send their students or where students feel the support from each other and the staff members and the teachers. Um, I believe we can do this by uh, creating systems with each other, not just me creating systems, actually them feeling involved in creating systems where they feel um, the agreement that they're going to be agreeing to, to throughout the, uh, the school year. So youth voice and leadership is a focus at Viegas because it's important for our students to feel uh, they have a sense of ownership in the program so that they know that the program is theirs. Uh, we did this this year by revitalizing and re-imaging my student leadership council. This group of students that were voted into office by their peers uh, were able to plan the large events that we had at the program this year. They planned the activities, the times that were going to happen, and even the day that it was going to happen. So they are going to leave a legacy for future kids of this council by the feats that they've accomplished this year.